So, I'm trying to record my life in a way I've never done before because I've never used a DSLR in front of my face. I'm not even sure if it works. Okay, so, and by the way, this uh, this, this lens, it doesn't autofocus, so I have to focus manually, which is not the best thing I can try. But the good thing is, I'm going to have a DJI Osmo Mobile with me soon, so I can use my phone to to record whatever I have and just hoping my phone has enough memory, you know. Power switch over there. Here we are, the power switch. It's in Swedish. Number 20 is the power switch to the light in my bedroom. Let's try to turn it off. Oh, let's try to turn it off. Number 20, here you go. I heard something. Usually that's not a good sign. My vacuum robot just went offline because apparently the charging is off. That little thing over there behind this magic board over there, that's the uh, adapter. That's a charger to remove this thing over here and replace it with a way fancier touch control glass top. So now I'm going to take this thing off. I just I just removed this thing. What if this is right with the fuse, you know? Maybe I should try to sound nice. Dodd. Oh, I removed this one. Part of the meaning, or part of the reason why I'm out. Oh, see this? I'm gonna fit this one in. Look at this. Somebody, somebody has done a really lousy job. You see, this is a cross screw. This is a bar screw. And there's nothing here. Yeah. You can never trust those electricians. You know, I have to do it uh, at a noon. And now the time is... You know, I have this... Um, Radio projector alarm clock. It's actually a projector. I could um, project something like this. See, there's a projector here. I got that projector clock, and there's a default defect on that. That it's it's connected to the power outlet, but if the power cuts off, it also has battery inside. But if the power cuts off, the battery doesn't kick in unless you unplug the power plug. So if you don't do that, it's just gonna get reset. So I have no idea what time it is, but I think it's around 12, something around 12.30. Let's go on, I need to replace the screw driver head. No, I can remove it. Oh my God. Oh, that's really, really bad. That's really bad, it's a, uh, Oh, that's really bad. I can't use this one. And here I see the reason why there are only three screws. You see, here, these three ones has a, what is it called? A, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but this one doesn't have. So that's probably why. Yeah, that's too big. I probably should have checked the dimensions before, but it's too late. Just look at the size. I'm supposing to put this thing into that thing over there. But if I can somehow just trim it on the side and make it compatible, maybe I can do it. Because the power outlet goes from the back side and that one goes from the bottom. So it needs a little bit of space here. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see. But it needs a little bit of space here because it goes on the bottom. But this one, it goes from the back side. So I don't need this space over here. So I can just safely just trim it. But the difficulty is that means I have to trim off a huge amount of the body. So this one horizontally with five centimeters. No, it's four point nine. It's four 
Why not? It's gonna be just like this. Isn't it cool? The uh, the diameter is 5.6 centimeters. Um, in both sides is 4.9. So well, they trimmed a little because they want to make it a box. You know what? Maybe I should try if it works. Since I have it, I don't disassemble today. Okay. Now it's time for googling. I found this um, wiring diagram for this dimmer. And before you do everything, the best thing is to make sure that you're safe. I have a multimeter, a digital one. So, tell me the truth. Nope. There's no voltage on it, no reading. This, uh, the darker one is the live, and this lighter one is the neutral. You don't need to apply much force on it. The live goes to arrow here, and neutral goes to arrow too. So that's about as much I know about. This is the moment of truth. Now it's time to turn it on. You can see, can you see the light? Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, turn it on. Turn it off. Ooh, sorry for that sound. Isn't it just beautiful? I have to make this work. Oh, one more thing. This is actually remote controlled. This thing here, it's a remote control. It's actually powered by battery. So, um, I have this one, I can add to this thing. But if you wanna have two of them, you have to modify the cabling so that you can have something else, somewhere else. But with this, you can literally just stick it anywhere you want, anywhere. Just stick it to the wall and then it'll work. So, Next thing is, I need to learn how to how to match it. Um, so it's pretty simple, as it's written. Just press and hold for three seconds, and just press this. That's no. Okay, look at this. Cool, isn't it? See here, the camera is really heavy. But that is the power switch, which is synchronized to this thing here now, and that controls this light. So if I just press here, isn't it cool? Hey, it's cool. Okay, the only thing I can do now is to remove it and put the, the other thing back. Which makes me really sad. It works. To be able to make it back in. Um, meaning that. Oh. And there you go. I don't usually. I don't usually do like this. Breather. So. And here it goes. And let's see, it works. Yeah, of course it works. So that's it, that's pretty much it. That's everything I can do today. Well, I didn't do much today, so I'm gonna drive away. I'm going to the mall now. Um, hopefully it's not too late.